click? Yep, I clicked it. Oh, thank you. But there's nothing that tells us when it goes live except the first person usually types Good something. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Tom. <laughs> Don't look at the camera yet. They can't see you yet. Karen. Oh, they can't. It's still the outside oh, that's view. That's right. So. Morning, happy. All right. Looks like we're up. Beautiful day outside again. Another another full sunny day. Here we are. It's guest corner again today, or or guest host. I don't know what we call these things. I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So, so, so. Unscheduled, unannounced, and advanced. <laughs> Repeat. It's Karen, of course. Hey, John. For those who don't know, this is Karen Pittman, one of our mods, actually. And she's been in Japan for three, two weeks now? Three weeks now? Two weeks. Three, three weeks. weeks. Three, three weeks. weeks. It'll be three How do you weeks. get that much time away from your real job? I don't I get worked like 12 hours a day for three months <laughs> before that. <laughs> so it's the kind of work that you can pile it up, you mean? I mean, some people well, don't have a job that does that, you know? Yeah. Um, okay, whatever. Not, no, not no really, you know, <laughs> so but... <laughs> Getting three weeks off a job, I can't imagine that. Karen's been here for a couple of things to see us at Mokohanka, mm -hmm. of course, to do some traveling, hiking around, which we're, I'm interested to hear about. And it was for, of course, the conference, the International Mokohanga Conference that was up in Fukui Prefecture. Uh, about in the middle of your trip, right? You were here for a week before and a week after. And the Pretty conference much, was sort of, yeah. Minutes, the so. conference was about four or five days, depending okay. on the activities. Oh, long story, my real job, I, I do software development. Sounds like me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> uh, John Becker says, try being a freelance photographer, you get all the time off you want. And Kobe from next door said earlier, Oh, oh. Uh, you met his, his or her friends um, yesterday. Yes, yes. A uh, person I hadn't met before came in yesterday and yeah. said, uh, That's cool. Somebody said, we, we, every day, with no exceptions, every day somebody comes in and says, I don't really know much about you, but my friend heard I was coming to Japan and said, you must go to this place. And I have this case. So Kobe Beef next door had heard a friend was coming to Japan, mm -hmm. sent them here. And I guess we took a picture together. I don't, there's no way for us to see it. It was on his phone. But mm -hmm. we went next door to the Kobe Beef restaurant, and we took a picture in front of his restaurant, which he may have <laughs> or not. So, so thanks for the, the, the fr friendly wave there yesterday. So. Yeah. There, you may see a French guy here today because I, I, I sat next to them at the sushi place last night so, and so. <laughs> proselytized a bit. So. The word of mouth uh, goes on around and around and yeah. around. So, 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 so. so I, anyway, I've got carving to do this morning. and I, Karen, I think, has a ton of stories. i got to hear about the paper making, the hike she's been hiking. Is, was it all in the Nakasendo or just all over the Pretty place? Pretty much. I tried to hike in Nagano. Okay. And you were, you had an experience, you are driving? I did. Okay, well, okay, let, let, let me get my desk cleared off. I'll get some work started. And okay, you, okay. Do you take over poker with questions? I'm interested <laughs> to hear what it's all about. Uh, I don't think, it, just got to get my stuff. It's, yeah, I rented a car for the first time in Japan. And it was, um, it was a little unnerving uh, at first, but the speed limits are so low. For those of you in the U.S., the highway speed limit is about 31 miles per hour, 50 kilometers per hour. Okay, Joe, you do realize these numbers were K, not not K, not yeah, miles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 50, 50 kilometers per hour is about 31 miles per oh, hour. Oh. And but the thing is, um, everybody else drives a lot faster than that. I didn't believe this when my friends told me. They said, "Well, everybody's going to drive faster Somebody than the speed was talking limit, about that and the they're going to get yeah. they're going to get mad at you." So, um, <laughs> so you know, put your blinkers on and pull over so people won't pile up. But and get that's mad. country driving rather than city driving. So yeah, people drive pretty much the speed limit in the cities. But once you get out of the city limits, then it's up to like sixty-five or seventy kilometers per hour. So slow as hell. But like, what can I ask? Why were you driving? There's trains everywhere. What specifically made it required that you needed to go driving somewhere? Were um, you trying to get the, somewhere that wasn't accessible. The, the, yeah. Yeah, there are um, places that I couldn't have gone to except at great pain with, like, mm. weird bus connections. Yeah. Um, so this is about small villages or up, up the Nakasendo area? Yeah, up in the Nakasendo area. I w one of the places I went to see was the Naegi Castle Ruin, which is close to Nakats Nakatsugawa. Um, and it was, it was pretty cool. It was, uh, like, on a hill made of giant boulders. And this is what era? This is Edo era it stuff? It was a or? band, yeah. They, um, the, it was to, Toyama? Toyama. Toyama. The north of there. 
the family name, ah, sorry, Toyama, sorry, sorry, sorry. They, they held it for like 12 generations, and they finally abandoned it in um, 1871. Yeah, no, that, no, they abandoned it in 1868, and it was okay, destroyed. The restoration, at the restoration time. Yeah. That's the end of the Tokugawa yeah. time. Yeah. 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 So John drove from Utsunomiya to Motegi, and the speed limit was, never got higher than 60. 60. I never saw 60. Hmm. Oh, we have some raiders. Welcome, raiders. Am I all visible? Am I okay on screen? You are good. Right. You, um, Let me know if, if you the um, image of your carving is in the lower middle right now. So you could scoot the camera a little bit to put it in the center, and you could zoom a bit more. Yeah. If you zoom too close, I can't good. see. So. So there were no incidents of wrong side mistakes and stuff oh, no. like this you no, did? No, no. I mean, you're here to tell the story. Yeah, so my, my very first right turn was um, I got honked at because I didn't see the car coming. Uh, but there were no accidents. Wait, what do you mean you didn't see the car <laughs> <I> coming? <didn't. laughs> they, they were a little closer than I expected coming from a place that I didn't expect. Oh, or they're driving faster than you expected because of the speed limit. Maybe, you maybe so, yeah. yeah. And, I'll, and after you, that, I was like, okay, right turn, right turn, right turn. It's what's difficult. the When you rent a car, is there a sticker on the car somewhere that shows other people that this is a rent-a-car driver? Like a begin, we have stickers for beginner drivers and for, you know, old age drivers. Is there a sticker for renters? Well, the license plate has a wah on it. All rental cars are ah, so, wah. So That's what I heard. Once they're close enough, they know that you're a renter. Okay. Mm -hmm. but if, they they know, know. if they know that, but not everybody knows that. No, no, I didn't know. But they don't know you're a foreigner or you're on the wrong side of the road or whatever. There's no uh, warning to anybody. Did I find myself wiping the... <laughs> John, you are so right. <laughs> so everything is mirrored in these Japanese vehicles. So if you're accustomed to operating the turn signal with your left hand, that is instead the windshield wiper. Uh, you're, you're sitting on the... Okay, you're in the car. You're sitting on the right hand on the side right of side. the vehicle. Now. Okay, and, I get you. I get you. And yeah. like in an American car, the turn signal is operated with the all left right, hand because right, you're on the left right. side. But it's right hand. I learned. I learned eventually. It sounds like somebody <laughs> is speaking from experience here. Yes, I think <laughs> so. John had the same experience. That's so funny. Okay, can we ask? Yeah. Can I interrupt this to ask John a question? John was here. He said he went to Motegi. This is one of those places where there's a racetrack and like you rent sort of racing oh. vehicles and drive around. So John's had this experience here of doing this, renting a normal car, driving on normal streets up to one of these race places, then I think renting a car and like racing. But is that, what kind of drive is that? Is that back again to normal? Is our race cars internationally, I mean race cars go all around the world, you know, uh -huh. they can't be, they, they can't might be have just like one seat right in the middle and it doesn't I, matter. I don't know if it's a... Oh, he didn't drive a race car. Well, it was like about a stock car or something. Mean? Or... He just said he went to Motegi to visit the, Hon the ah, Honda Collection ah, Hall okay, and Museum. And he didn't drive a race okay, car there. Okay. I have something in my mind that. Did John... you drive a race car someplace in Japan? No, it must be in America. Okay, I'm, I'm mixing up two different episodes. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll keep quiet. I'll get out of the way here. Yeah, I'm mixing up episodes. So the conference, the conference was uh, was fun. It was there are a lot of um, other printmakers that I've been following, uh, like on Instagram, and whose work I admire, um, and I got to meet many of them in person, which was really nice. Some of the feedback we got from the people who came through this week who had been at the conference say for overall they enjoyed it very much and they enjoyed the socialization and meeting people that they had only heard about just exactly what mm -hmm. you said. They said they, they, I got the same feedback from a lot of people, they were disappointed and there wasn't enough sessions. There were not enough interesting sessions about printmaking. Huh. You know, the papermaking thing was there, I guess the one yeah. you did, which we're going to hear about, but they said they would have appreciated more, you know, presentations, more, more printmakers uh -huh. giving Presentation. There were there were some presentations, but they conflicted with an activity that I had planned, so I couldn't go to them. Um, I did three workshops. I did a test printing workshop, 
Oh, that's the one with Terry McKenna, is it? Yeah, Terry okay. ran it. Yeah. Uh-huh. And um, there was a, there were a whole bunch of different paper makers with their stuff all lined up on a table, and you could buy paper there if you wanted to. Um, and for the test printing workshop, you got a, uh, a pack of, of paper to test out, and they had dampened um, some of them, but not all of them. The ones that they picked to dampen were uniformly uh, unacceptable to me. <laughs> Like different style of pin making, you mean? Ah, uh, okay. yeah. Well, they were. Tell me more, except I mean, I, I I tend to use a lot of pressure. That's what I'm accustomed to. Mm -hmm. um, and every one of them was either undersized or unsized, and so the fibers lifted off and uh -huh. lift off and fouled the block, and it was really shiny, slick service on the front. So um, these were machine made papers. I think they were machine made papers. I'm not sure what else is in the in the sample pack, but they weren't identified. Or? They are, they are, but I haven't okay, looked through it to see which ones I actually got. The when I had been up there a week before the conference started, talking to the uh, guy who owns the Udatsu place or the, the guy who runs the Udatsu place, mm -hmm. he showed me they had made this sample book of papers from fourteen different workshops up there, and it was there was the price list, and description, and sample book. Did yep. you get one of those? You, yep, oh, sure okay. did, and. Um, there's two from Iwana in, in there. there. In there, yes. In there, yes. yeah. Yeah. But there were no papers from Udatsu in the pack. Really? Really. So are they not actually like selling? But I did. I bought some paper up there. They are. Week, you know. they, but you have to go there and say, I want I to buy some paper that Murata-san made. So, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> it's, there's no signage, no nothing. Uh, so you don't but, know, there's no shop section there with all the paper laid out and well, priced in it? Well, I mean, there, no, there's not. No. No. But... Um, did you hear much about Murata San? I mean, she, she did the workshop that you, you know, yes, when you were making yes. paper. But when the week I was up there, every single person I talked to, and I'm really not exaggerating, every single person I talked to mentioned her name before I started talking about it. Like, she's a superstar in that town. Oh, wow. She's the absolute superstar. She's obviously... She's a delightful person. She, it, I, she really is. You, you've had more yeah. time with her than I have yet, but uh, I've watched her work, and it's ballet. My God, it's ballet, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just ballet. I'd happily put her on stage with a tub and, the, you know, paper-making stuff in a hall with 2,500 people and call it a ballet concert and just watch for two hours. I'd happily do that. Yeah, <laughs> so I, I bought some paper. So is this, but no, this is the paper you made, isn't it? It's also a paper I bought from Murata-san, or from Udatsu. Okay, that she made. I'd say the, the, the large size Kiku Yeah. So, that's yeah. Like, so that. I'm done. But that's ready to pack to go home to America. Well, right? you know what? I'm going to, today I'm going to walk to Ozuwashi and buy some machine-made paper for test printing. All right, so when you so get I'm going to unpack that, we'll repack. Okay, okay, right, yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's why I didn't open it. I thought, no way, this is packed for the travel. Yeah, no, it's okay. So the paper you made is in there. Mm-hmm. Okay. How did they tape this up? Oh. <laughs> well, that's something else. And before the conference started, uh, there was a lady in here saying she was going up to thing, and she'd signed up for the paper-making workshop. And I said, good, you better be prepared for, uh, you know, uh, a, a real heavy work, because they're, they're going to make big, big sheets up there. And it, she was, said, it was biggish. It's Kikuban, yeah. But she said, oh, no, 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 no. It's just going to be little sheets. They wouldn't expect us to do big sheets. Ha, ha, ha. And I said, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I've, seen the, uh, I've seen the description of this, yeah. and you're making what's called Kikuban. And she said, yes, that's right. It's Kikuban. And I said, Jay, you really don't know how big Kikuban is. And she said, it's about this big, right? And I said, <clears throat> like this. <laughs> and she's like, I can't do that. They said, well, get ready, because that's what you're going to do. <laughs> you know, so. Last stream, somebody noticed that you had hung the yeah, scroll up yeah, here. Yeah, we put it up here. Yeah, so a bit too high. Looks nice. Looks, looks nice. nice. Oh, I found um, I found out where all the green tape is coming from, or is being used for. It's what are we looking at here? It was this is at the conference. I'm oh, no. No, no. <laughs> this is down by the sumo. No, they're closed. Can you, this is can you show? Can, can we? Can oh, you see just how, put it. It's gone black, Karen. Oh, oh I turned it off accidentally. But nobody will know what it is. Okay, we're changing the, the conversation here is jumping all over the place. Sorry about that. Is it, I can't tell. Karen, you tell me. Are we, uh, you're off screen. Give me a hint. Where, where, where? Okay, Coming there. Up. There we go. Up, up. Or, yeah, there. 
that's where all the green tape is going. This is down by the Sumida River. They, they what it is, it's a row of portable public toilets. Yes, they've closed them off because cherries are over. But they closed it off <laughs> April the 8th. <laughs> when cherries were still at their peak, but the festival officially closed April 8th, so they closed all the freaking toilets. <laughs> Just, I don't even want to talk about this. Japan. Oh, Japan. The contract must have been from like March 20th to April 8th, and that's it. Once the contract's over, boom, take them up. Wow, this is really bulletproof. Well, while you open that, can we watch the video of you making yes. paper? Or, or, yes, or, or, yeah, we can do that. Uh, or do you just want to narrate it? Turn it on. Turn it on, and it'll start. Yeah, yeah and it'll, okay. it starts automatically. And we can't hear the sound, but they can hear the sound, and we have to ask them. Let us know, too loud, too soft, because we can't hear it here. This That's, is Murata-san on the right, and the lady in the, the green there is, is our, our hero, Karen. Oh, I'm glad I didn't wear the same shirt that I... <laughs> that's in the video! <laughs> I only have two shirts. Who was taking the video? Like, a, a gentleman that was there for translation. Ah, oh, I see. Interpreter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she lets you go. This is not, but this is not your first sheet, right? You said you had done one sheet before this. Is this your second sheet? or? Th this is the second I don't remember. Okay. I think, yeah, I think it's the second sheet. Or no, it's the first one. I think at the beginning know. of the video it says there you had, you had done a scoop one. and a dump first. You dumped it back in or something. Yeah. She had you uh, yeah, yeah. She said, just practice. And so I rocked it and rocked it and just made wrinkles and wrinkles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, just wrinkles And then everywhere. dumped it back in. Yeah, so, we just okay. took that fiber and, okay. and recycled it, put it in the recycle bucket. Karen, this is a big, big sheet of paper. You know, I'm astonished they would ask beginners to try and manipulate this. I think, I think after another four or five sheets, I could have gotten the, the hang of uh -huh. it. I mean, most of the weight is suspended yeah, on the, the ropes, weight, yes, and, yes. and you're not supposed, I mean, you can tell I'm like stressing and putting mm, probably mm, too much mm, force into mm, it that mm, I need to. Mm. Um, Watching this video, compared to the one I've seen other videos with Marathasan herself and Iwano-san, compared to those, the one thing I notice is that you're not dipping deep enough and there's not enough pulp onto the screen. You know? So it's sometimes yeah. not enough to get to the actual back of the screen there. It's right. Like, big and guy here, I've never done this myself, telling her how to do this, you know. So she decided to help you for a bit there, but she was asking yeah, you to do more vigorously or something? Yeah, she helped me like, make a bigger saying, dip. Yeah, okay, and, I see. And, um, so if you, if, you, if you get a lot of uh, fluid in there, mm -hmm. you can go for a long time without scooping again. And it's, a, it's a, kind of a danger when you scoop, because if you, if you don't scoop like that, well, uh, they can't see me. <clears throat> if you don't do a heavy scoop with the pressure on the top of the screen, and you let water come oh, up from the, the bottom. Up. If you push the screen down into the water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, screen, it, it, the screen lifts. It lifts the yes, fibers yes, up. Yes, and, yes, um, yes. And, you make, and you make wrinkles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks clean and smooth, my God. Except for that there's some wrinkles in the corner. Whatever, whatever. There. I mean, this is your <laughs> second or third sheet. There, yeah, that's yeah, the there corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. video a camera works kind of all over the place mm, mm. so we have a stack of paper that all the other conference participants made and no, she put the tab in there it's got your name it's on got it. my name yeah, on it yeah, yeah. yeah. But I was gonna ask how that happens because takes it they don't dry it overnight and then press it the next day and you're gone by then yeah so that they, was the deal. So they, handled <coughs> they, the rest they had to the, save them and yeah. you know they handled the rest of the yeah. drying so this package arrived at, yesterday yesterday two days ago the package arrived Udatsu mm -hmm. had sent it here Karen had said send it to us but if you'd been going back to America what would have happened uh, I could have had it shipped there oh, I see okay okay probably at you know considerable mm -hmm. expense so you lay it down I don't think you need to. She wanted me to lay it down faster than I did. So <laughs> there she pushes it down. Mm -hmm. yeah, go, 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 she's saying. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're being careful, and she's thinking we can't go too slowly here. Yeah. Yeah. And then when you. There is string, going to be string between the sheets. Here we go. <clears throat> here comes the string. Is it part of a larger video? No, it's just, uh, I just put a few little snippets together of, of 
video that was taken when I was so doing the So you gave the guy your camera set, did you? Yeah, you, that's, you I just handed him my yeah. phone, and, and he took a bunch of video. And you, when you lift the screen off, you've got to make sure and not drip it on top of the stack. Mm. There you go. It'll just stop automatically once it gets to the end. Yeah. So how many? Did you make two sheets? Then? I made two sheets. Two sheets. Mm -hmm. okay. I movie here, rolled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had her name wrong all I, earlier. I was calling oh. her Now. There were there's no. a lot of Now is a common girl's name, and I thought it was Now, but I didn't hear it. It's Na Ho. Na -ho. It's two syllables. Yeah. I guess Now is Now short for Naomi. It'll be Now is an actual word by an actual, itself. Okay. Now, okay. Now. Yeah, okay. so we'll hey, see. Hey, thanks for being public with us. It's cool. Sure, you know, sure. I can't wait to get started and try this. You know, she's done more paper making than I have. I've been waiting to do this for decades. I would love. Oh, I think I found it. I found it. The key here. Learny means um, someone who's learning. It's kind of a, I don't know if it's a real English word. Trainee, I think. Trainee is a, person. yeah, trainee is a. Trainer and trainee. It's a real English word. Was that uh, paper making included in the general conference fee, or did you pay extra no, for this? No, no, there was extra. The... E each each little workshop costs a little bit extra. Um, what other work? Oh, I did a sizing workshop too, and um, at Udata. No, it was uh, held in the meeting space. Oh yeah, just the office building. Just yeah. a little, you know, in the side room there. And what, they provided blank paper, or, or what? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It was a very tiny little sheet of paper. And did they do the system where it was a one pass with a big brush, or was it dab, 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 dab? It was dab, 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 dab. It was, the first pass was glacial. Um, and heavy coat, lots of liquid, or? Did the, did the paper get soaked, or was it just damp when you were finished? It was, it was... Pretty, pretty damp, pretty, pretty wet. What was the most fun in making the paper? Just over, the whole process <laughs> overall. Yeah, you know, just the whole experience. Just the whole geeky thing. Ending up with this paper. Maybe the, the most pleasure part is what's going to happen now. Standing here with the finish of the paper, I made this. You know. <laughs> what's yeah? I, I, I'm gonna. John said well, you should make some prints. And the, like, of, of course, course I'm going to make some prints. They may be lumpy and weird. But, yeah. but this is unsized. Well, I'm going to size it first. Mm -hmm. I have everything for the sizing except um, a place to hang it up. But you're dry, right, in Austin down there? Very dry. Yeah, well, that thing is going to dry real fast and get wrinkled. So do everything you can to slow the drying. Mm. Hang it up in the bathroom, close the door, put the shower on, whatever, you know, just anything. Close the vents. I have a, you know, central uh, heating and cooling, so it's kind of, every every place in my house is the same all the time. It's kind is, of hard to change Is the it. outside vacuum cleaner killing us? We have the outside mic is on there. Oh, the Rody That's, Wireless. No, the audio from outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know, they'll tell us if it's killing is us. Is it okay? Not. Is the audio okay, folks? It's okay. Clothes closet, sort of. I don't know. It's full of junk. <laughs> we need some more bubble wrap. Sensei, good morning. Oh, is um, Sensei Martian here? Yeah, he just so. said good morning. How are you doing? 
I think he's going to drop the video soon. Is he down in Kyushu now? I forget. Where are you, Sensei? Yeah, if he's going to start tomorrow, he should be tomorrow, down yeah, okay. in Kyushu by now. He said when, I think the last thing he said the other day was Wednesday morning start, went Japan time. Oh, today's Monday, yep. Uh, Chimera Press, I had done sizing once before. Um, I haven't yet done it in my house, but that time will come. It's a noisy morning here in Saksa. One of the most fun parts of the conference was the open portfolio, and that's where um, printmakers have a table and mm -hmm. some wall space, and they lay out all their prints. So um, we're looking at hundreds of people here. Hundreds, hundreds yeah, of people. So that's yeah. a big room. Yeah. At, they did it in two sessions because uh, the, too much. they had too many people that wanted to do it, so they broke it up into two. Um, is there it? was there was a lady there, a Japanese lady, who I think must be a, an educator, um, and she had some really nicely done prints, um, and she had a she had a little um, booklet of woodblock prints uh, of children's songs, and she she sang them for us. <laughs> <laughs> um, her, her family name is Morata, also. I have no idea if she's any relation to it's a common name. I don't know. The, the paper maker. Um, and some camera lookies. How many of my prints were on display? J John, I brought pretty much all of them that I have. I mean, there are a few that I don't have any copies of right now. Um, mostly I brought seconds because I, I didn't want to risk losing actual prints. Um, let's see, where's Sensei? Oh, he's not in Kyushu yet. He uh, is flying tomorrow. Still on for a Wednesday start though. And the other thing was, um, she had a, she had a, an entirely woodblock printed book, and I'm going to show you pictures. Actually, I, I have them on my phone, I think. <laughs> and I for kids, uh, explaining how um, how to do woodblock print, printing. What do you mean now? She made a bunch of individual woodblock prints and then bound them together into a book. Yeah, you? into one of those accordion books. Oh, I see, I see. So this front is front and back. Okay, so it's not a, an offset book made based on reproductions of her prints. It's an actual. The the, thing what we saw was an okay. actual, and maybe she okay. sells it as a. So she can't make reproduction copies of this, or, or. Yeah. So. It um. So what are we doing? Okay. We can do that, and then you can. And then I can swipe. Okay, just make, let me find it first. One sec. There. There. So there you, you are. Okay. Uh -huh. You tell me. You you describe Oops. it. Tell me what to do. Except it flipped. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hang on a if I lay it. Put the connection part down. Oh, yeah, you got it. Oh, 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 oh. Wrong way around. Here, let me fix it. I, I think I can fix it. Can you lock it? Can you, if you can lock I it. think I can lock it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so what we're seeing there is pop, 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 stretched out. Yeah, stretched out. There we go. Go ahead, carve some. I'm going to fix all of these because there are a few want to, that I want to swipe through. Um, Can you lock the orientation of the of the device? Or, or? 
probably could. <laughs> Don't quite know how. Joe, the, the prints then from that session, I had heard somebody had said they were all going to be online. Uh, are they, or is, is the conference... Oh, from the open portfolio? Yeah. No, no. The, the juried exhibit prints are online. Oh, I see, I see, okay. See, I'm confusing the two things. Huh? Yeah. So, so then, if you if you swipe, which, which way is the bottom? That's bottom, and I'm going to swipe like this, am I? Well, you'll let me okay. do it. Okay. There we go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it goes through all the tools, and um, and go ahead and swipe. Swipe this way. Yeah. And pigments. Oh, and it's then, a book about woodblock it's printmaking. It's a book how, I see, I showing see, kids I see, how to do woodblock okay. printmaking. Okay. And it's made in woodblock style. Yeah. Well, it's made as woodblock. As woodblock. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Go ahead so the pages are all individual prints and then glued together somehow. Yeah, okay. I think so. Mm -hmm. And here she's showing how the colors combine, how I you can layer you. up okay. different colors. Okay. And okay. the final print of that series is on the next swipe. And this yeah. is all also woodblock? So she all woodblock. She carved all the letters. This yeah. is somebody Murata, you don't know. Minako. Mi Murata. Murata Minaho, not Minaho. Minako. Minako. Okay. Minako. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was. That was. I thought that was really cool. Mm. And plus, her. I think that's it for that one. Shark skin brushes, barons. How the baron is made. Yeah. Pigments. I can't quite see this upside down. It's small for me here. Collection of tools. All the tools. So does she also like have this available? Does she sell this or you don't know? I don't know? know. I looked online to try to see mm. if she was on Instagram mm. or had a mm. web page or mm. anything like that, and I couldn't find. Okay. Yeah. So if you remind me after, we can look it up in Japanese, and maybe I can find a page in Japanese or mm -hmm. something. Okay. She had a. She was in an exhibit with uh, one of the more famous uh, woodblock printmakers um, that was at the conference, whose name escapes me now. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's he's big in Japan. Were there many Japanese participants in the conference? Yeah. Or was it because I had the impression it was for for you know for Westerners for overseas people? There were a lot there? of Westerners. Oh. A lot a lot of there were people from I see. Australia and the UK and Belgium and the Netherlands. So the sessions were all in English, or the sessions were bilingual? How did it work? What, uh... There was a translator. Interpreter. An interpreter, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? The, whoever spoke first spoke a couple of sentences, then paused while the interpretation happened? Yeah, okay. yeah. And that, that went pretty well for the most part. Occasionally somebody would just go on and on and on, and yeah, the, the, the yeah. interpreter had to say, <coughs> yeah, I'm here to translate for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, one. happy! I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'll I'll study up tonight. I'll figure out how to lock the rotation and get back to you. So the next <laughs> conference is I. Somebody told me Kansas City in three years. Yes, exactly. It was a uh, the conference was apparently a really really big deal for Etchizin. Oh, yeah, for the local, yeah. Yeah, yeah because... Yeah, yeah. A number of reasons. Post-earthquake thing is part of it, and then... Uh -huh. uh, and they, this is like, apparently the first time that they've had a big conference with uh, international visitors oh, I see, there I see. in, in yeah. Etchizen. Yeah. So the governor came and gave a speech, all that kind of the stuff. The governor you know, of Hukui yeah, came, yeah. 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 There were speeches by um, the governor, and by the mayor of yeah. Etchizen, yeah. and by um, the chairman of the... Paper Industrial Association. Um, and here in Japan these days, they're desperately trying to get tourists out of Tokyo and Osaka and Kyoto and get them into other parts of the country. Oh. So there's, there's all levels of government support and subsidy for anything that would encourage tourism in the boonies. Okay. You know, I'm not saying that in an insulting way. Just anything except Tokyo. You know. So there were there were tourists. So I went um, after the conference. I uh, went to the Kiso Valley and went to a whole bunch of places there. 
um, the area that used to be known as the Nakasendo. Yeah, right? yeah. There is a pretty well preserved part of the Nakasendo Road between uh, Magome and Tsumago. Mm. Uh, and that's kind of like a Hayaku Chikoroba. I, I was trying to ask whether it was easier to go Magome, Kara, Tsumago, Made. Oh, so <laughs> or Tsumago, Kara, Magome, Made. <laughs> she used the expression for tongue twister. Hai tongue kuchi, twister. Hayaku Chikoroba. Fast mouth <laughs> words in Japanese. We say tongue twisters. Nani. So magome, nani. Yeah, magome. Tsumago kara magome made. Yeah, it is. It's kind of like a tongue twister. It is. Twister. It's exactly <laughs> like it. And I was like getting all okay. tangled up trying to ask that question. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, it's nicely preserved there, Joe. A little bit uh, touristy, of course. It's pretty Because touristy. it's preserved. But it's what, yeah. there's a chance to see what it looks like. You yeah. Know, so. what, did the weather behave while you were there? Yeah, all but one day. So the day that I did that big walk from magome to Tsumago, um, it started raining when I was in Sumago, and I was planning anyway to get a bus back to Mangome, but then I had to walk from Mangome back to my hotel. Okay, so you're not um, walking with heavy backpack and stuff. It's it's. I had a, a, you know I had a light backpack mm -hmm. and a raincoat and an umbrella, but I got pretty wet <laughs> by the time I got back to the hotel. But they had a nice hot bath to soak in. Mm -hmm. So. It, what kind of accommodations in general did you stay at? Was it like old ryokans or hotels or what, what um, kind of stuff? Yeah, I stayed at uh, a ryokan in uh, the Yudanaka area, which is close to Nagano. Okay, so when we say ryokan, we mean you're sleeping on tatami uh, mats. Sleeping on the tatami. dinner is served in your room. Sitting on the floor. Mm -hmm. I got tired of that. <laughs> <laughs> My knee. The dinner was never served in the room. Oh, none um, of those, I guess no these days no so there's a, no, there's a there was a there was a, a dining yeah. dining room yeah. um, and then in uh, the first part of my Kiso Valley stay I stayed in a uh, let me think I stayed, stayed in the hotel Sana Sarasa Hana Sarasa and um, there what was um, it, it's all such a blur yeah. <laughs> I think I had I think I had a bed okay for people that are hearing about this that Karen has spent a week or so in the Kiso area walking hiking around whatever you you speak some Japanese here you've been at this for a year mm -hmm. how accessible is a holiday or an event like that for somebody who's hearing this and seeing this like wow I'd like to do that but I don't speak any Japanese how doable is what you did for it, someone who doesn't speak Japanese? It sure helped to speak Japanese. Um, I think it would be accessible. I met a lot of people, a lot of tourists that, I mean, I think I, I don't want to brag, but I probably spoke a lot more Japanese than mm. any of them. Mm. Um, but the point, is that kind of holiday accessible for a person who doesn't have any I, Japanese? I think, it, I think it would be. Did you go along day by day making your reservations day by day, or did you have them all worked out in advance? I had them all worked out, all worked out in advance. And I, I, I use sites like Agoda and Booking.com. So and English Expedia. language websites. Yes, yep, yep. yes. So you, you lose maps, I want to go here, here, here. You made the itinerary yourself. Yeah, I figured out where I wanted to go. And you these websites to make the bookings. Yeah, and so the, the hotels and everything were all uh, settled. Mm -hmm. My Exactly what I was going to do on any given day, I just I decided mm -hmm. the day before. Okay, but you had planned that yourself. You had you built this trip yourself there. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it requires some experience then to know where you are going and what you're going to do. You plan your trip, then use those websites to make the accommodation reservations and play the rest by ear. I'm ignoring, I'm ignoring the uh, yeah, Sorry, just chat. Actually, but, <laughs> uh, what happened while I was not paying attention? The point I'm trying to make is that this is, this is not some exotic adventure you've done in that nobody else could do this. This is something people can actually do, you know. Yeah. That's what I was trying to get at. Yeah. And there is public transportation. Um, there's a train uh, that runs through that valley. So if you p make your plans far enough in advance, you can get accommodations where it's not difficult to get to uh, using public transport. Oh, so we wouldn't need the rent-a-car option, you mean? Right. Yeah. Right. Um, I kind of, I waited until, I mean, some of my plans I made like two or three weeks before I actually left. And so the places to stay that were close to the stations 
oh. were all booked up, and that's why I decided to rent the car, because uh, it gave me, you know, it gave me freedom to set my own schedule and go where I wanted to go and do what I don't, what I wanted to do when I wanted to do it. What so. documentation did you need to be able to rent a car? You have to have an international driver permit so you and your that. own driver's license. So you get that at home before you come here? Yeah, you have to get that at home. And in the United States, it's easy to get. You just go to a AAA office if you have one close by and they can do it for you on the spot. It's basically just a document that records all of the information from your own driver's license in about 30 different languages. Um, did I take pictures for future prints? Absolutely, absolutely. Maybe, maybe seeing some more Japanese scenery in, in some of my prints. Is that, without being sarcastic here, is that what we want to see? Or when we think of Karen Pittman, the printmaker, working in the Japanese tradition with the Japanese paper and the knives and stuff is okay, but do we want to see the Japanese temples and kimonos and snow? Oh, and no, we're not going to see print? that from me, but you might, you'll see, you'll see some rocks. You'll see <laughs> Japanese rocks. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see what I'm getting at, you know, I mean, yeah. I think what we would want to see is, is your environment. Austin, you know, the, like you showed us before, the clouds above your desert in Austin, Texas or something. Well, know. that's actually in Nevada, that cloud. Okay, whatever, whatever. You, you, you get my point, whatever, yeah. you get my point. But, Japanese I, like, clouds, corn like, says. You know, who's talking? The British boy here making Japanese prints, so, so I get it. But, so, uh. One of the um, coolest places I went was the Nezame no Toko in um, Agematsu. It's, so the Kiso River runs through that valley um, and further downstream it's really broad and wide and um, when I was there in, what's the name of that place, Nojiri, um, it was kind of muddy and I there had been a whole bunch of rain the previous few days. So um, the river was dirty. Because, it was dirty. Yeah. The river was really muddy. But the further upstream I got, mm. uh, I don't know if it, it was because I was going upstream or because it was further away from the, uh, you know, longer since it had rained, mm. uh, it cleared up quite a bit. And the Nezame no Toko is this place in the river where there are some really big boulders and it, it narrows and... Um, so the water's flowing oh, through this that, little gorge. Oh, that's the Hasui print you showed me. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. yeah. So is there a print coming? Could be. Could be. <laughs> Another really gorgeous place I hiked was the Atera Valley. Um, it's just, the water is just beautiful. It's like blue. What's the name again? Ah. Atera. Okay. And this is again, it's on, on the, an offshoot of the Kiso? Yeah, it, it dumps into the Kiso River. Here um, you can see the, um, yeah, you got it. You can see the, the water from the Atera River dumping into the Kiso River. Ah, so good. So the, the, the clean <laughs> river the, and then the yeah. one, ah, interesting. Uh -huh. so good, so good. Yeah. Let me find an, one more good one here. Yeah, 
there's another amazingly blue, beautiful up. Yeah, there we go. Gorgeous, gorgeous stream. So you were hiking where on the side of the river? Yeah, there, there's or? no good hiking trail there. Uh, you're you're on a road, but it's a road where the speed limit is like 15 kilometers per hour, um, mm -hmm. and there's not much traffic. Um, and th there is once you get up high, there is a nature trail that goes off to the side, but then you're not next mm -hmm. to the river. Mm -hmm. um, all all over the place are these signs that say. Was it crowded, like hikers and more people, or, or no. you're you're by yourself all the time? No, it was not crowded. There were people up there, but it was not crowded. I saw um, one Western couple and a bunch of folks from Japan, probably. And this is, this is season. This, you're talking about the second week of April. Yeah. I guess Golden Week coming up, mm -hmm. it would be crowded mm -hmm. up there. Probably would be. The summer, probably would be. Yeah. Yeah, John, you're right. <laughs> it's probably very cold. People, people do enter the water, but, uh, you know, honestly, um, this time of year with all the snow melt coming down and rain that's been happening, um, the, the water is moving very, very fast and there are very few places where it would not be dangerous to get in. I have seen pictures of people in that water, though. Maybe it was a really hot day. I'm going to go and roll this uh, this roll now oh, that I've got. Oh, see your paper. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got the okay. okay. can't tell which are yours and which were the ones that Udatsu made, a likely story. <laughs> I can't see the chat here, I'm sorry. It doesn't have to be mine because there are 12 sheets here. She's going to pretend she can't tell the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking for the re- Oh, there's my sheet! There's my sheet! The suspense is killing me. Hmm? She's taking it away. Oh, I see. To the back room. These are big sheets of paper. She's going to lay them out. Here's the worst sheet of paper that I made. Okay, how do we do this? If I if I hold it here and then you go around and oh my god. It's big. Oh careful, careful, don't muck it up. There's two sheets here, right? Uh, I think yeah, there's two. Are there two? Yeah. Oh yeah, I made both of them and, and they both have wrinkles. Okay, well that's how we can tell. If I get it here, you grab the camera there. Look at the size of this thing, my god. See the wrinkles? I'm not worried about the wrinkles. I'm... Um, I, let's see. Oh, here, here, we do this. How can I zoom out? Uh, up on top of the camera. Uh, that thing there. This. See it? Left and right. Oh, Push, pull. Go. What's the instructions here? <gasps> okay, I've, I'm zoomed out as far as possible, yeah, okay. and all we see is a great big white sheet yeah. of paper. Soka, soka, soka. <laughs> see, there's a wrinkle. That's how I can tell it's my sheet. But look, it's mostly this is printable. Cool. I'm, it's this, mostly Karen, printable. This is cool. I'm seeing it from the back here, and I can see the light on the other side. 
this is one nice sheet of paper. Or two, two or sheets. Whatever, whatever. It's a, it's a case maybe. Oh, there's not much chitty to show it. Oh, no. They really um, did clean it carefully. Didn't there they? was one piece that was, um, that was obvious, and mm. it, they picked it off the stack. Okay. So I am seeing something from the back here. I'm seeing the paper here through the light. Yeah, so I see I, ridges. And I see the, near this hand here, uh -huh. my right hand, yeah. the paper is quite thick. Uh -huh. Over on my left hand, the paper is Thin. noticeably thinner. Uh -huh. So my guess is okay. this is the part near your body. Yes. And that's yes. the part away from your body. Yes. And maybe you didn't get the pulp, the, the as moment, much pulp as far away. to the back wall as, yeah. as much as maybe she would have done. Okay, let me take that back from you. And uh, can you very impressive? Can you read very the, impressive. The camera yeah, 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 yeah. Or just if you hold it there, let me try this. Yeah. Now we've got the light behind you. Now we can see this. Look at this. This is such an accomplishment, Karen. That's so cool. You know, beautifully, beautifully done. Help. Definitely had help. Well, whatever you had help with. To get yeah. that far, to get this nice usable paper on like your first go, I mean, come on, come on, come on. Very nice. Yeah, I can, I can feel the thickness difference for sure. Mm. We can see it here a little bit. One side is a bit darker than the other side because yeah. we're seeing a light behind it as well. So. Yeah. Well, congratulations, so, ma'am. I'm, <laughs> I'm green with envy, you know. <laughs> green with envy. I'm also lost here. Really. Chad, I'm sorry, none of us can see comments at the moment, so when she gets back in a minute, we'll, we'll try and catch up. Ah. All right. Back. Let's see, eight views of cats on one sheet. <laughs> <laughs> A lot more than that. <laughs> My God, a lot more Let's than see. that. I mean, prints, prints of this size. That'll make dozens of those prints. But prints of that size. Yeah. Dave's new print size is looking great. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody saw some cheery. Fabulous, fabulous. I'm green with envy. I want to try this so much, you know. Note so. that the lights are still out over the living with wood block. Oh yeah. They're not turned on yet. It's not that they're out, they're not on. Hi. They're on now. Right side of sticker. Now John will have to learn how to do barons and we'll have a workshop set up. That's KG. <laughs> All right, Corin. What's your job, Corin? <laughs> John just needs washi, lacquer, and suck it. Is, Tom asks, is that the size of paper that Dave gets from Iwano? None no, of it's that no, big. No, this is interesting. We yeah. have never, in all the years we've been ordering paper from Iwano, I've never ordered Kikuban size. Mm -hmm. Kikuban. Oh, no, this is a more Western size. Oh, no, the old days, back before the modernization, in the old Ukiwe days, there was sort of standardized sizes. They weren't A3, B3, B4, and stuff mm -hmm. like this. They were, you know, we, we had names like Obosho and Takenaga and Obiro, stuff like this. Then when the Japan modernized, they brought in the A and B, stuff like this. And when paper began to be made for printing press use, they devised sizes that matched the printing presses that had been imported from overseas. And Kikuban is one of those sizes. It's a size of, they took their screens and whatever and adjusted them, made it larger or smaller, so they could make paper that would fit these newfangled printing presses. Mm -hmm. And that's one of those. Mm -hmm. Now you're not going to you're not going to make prints, I guess, that big. So you're going to cut this. Oh, definitely. So, and, and I can't size it that size anyway. No, neither so. could I with, without a brush. Of my my so. brush is only that that wide. Yeah, so, so, so. <laughs> so for us to we order the paper in three sizes: obo sho, which is large hosho, then obiro, large wide, and then takenaga, which is about 800 millimeters wide. So. But that's it's a it's a traditional paper size, but not. Real traditional paper size, whatever. But it's big enough. My God, when I heard that they were going to do this at the workshop, I'm like, this must be a misprint. They it did. It, it didn't feel too big. 
like sure it was a big thing it didn't, it didn't weigh yeah, that much jump in the deep end of the pool whatever i mean if yeah. somebody who could i guess maybe the thing is when you go to the tourist things they all do like me and ayana san did down the street here we did the little tiny sheet and you don't learn anything you just dip it and stand there so if you had had a little tiny one that perhaps would have been more difficult to actually make you know Mm -hmm. Now that I think about it, just do the real thing. The weight is held by the ropes anyway. Right. It's not like you're having to hold the whole thing up. Right. And the, the, right. the skill comes in the it's manipulation, the, timing. the manipulation and the yeah. timing. and yeah. yeah, so like the time to scoop is when you're just right when your wave is about to get back to the back. Can we show Murata san maybe? Yes, what, is yes. that okay? I mean, not. I was I a bit. I teed up another video here of Murata san herself, not on the same screen. This is scoop from a website out there. So I just click the eye and it yeah, will start. Yeah, and you can narrate and tell us. And again, sound is there fast. Oh my God! This is a. This is a. a is it longer? I know it's narrower front to back. It's. Than it's two sheets of paper at the same time. She's making two oh. sheets at the same time. She's making a left-hand sheet and a right-hand sheet. You'll see when we get to it. Okay. And of course, this confidence, I mean, 40 years of, what, 30 years of confidence here. John is saying lots of paper going over the back edge. Well, still, she makes a big scoop to begin with. And of course, the, the whole screen, the idea of the whole screen must be covered evenly front to back, you know. The strings here, the string at the left end of your screen, this one is tied firmly to the roof. It doesn't flex. The two strings closer to Murata san herself, these are tied to bamboo poles and these flex and she can pull. The back string is not flexible. So you can't get the back of that screen into the water. The back won't go into the water. The place that she's doing this is not the workshop space. Mm, mm, this mm. is in this the, is the, public the demonstration yes. hall that's part of Udatsu. So when you go to Udatsu, um, they show, they have little exhibits showing mm, the different mm, steps mm, of paper mm, making, mm, the, the raw public fiber. Area, yeah. Yeah. And then they have this um, demonstration room. Mm. Uh, when I went in there, there was a different gentleman making paper. So, so the back is in. The back of the screen can't go under the water, but only the front of the screen can do that. There should be missed it because that's on the that's the flexible strings. Yeah, she's taking a long time on that. She's slowing down. This is thick paper. This is oh, a very, okay. very thick paper. At the beginning, you have to move fast because the water drains so quickly because there's no fibers oh, on the screen. Okay. But as you, you can move slow forward, down as minute by minute, fiber by minute you have to slow down. If okay. you try and go fast, the water doesn't go through it. So that because the fibers are building up on the screen, Dave knows about this. He's never done it, but he knows about this. And you have to slow down, slow down, slow down so the water has time to drain. But the first two or three strokes must be lightning fast. And these are thick sheets she's making. This is not thin paper. This is like three, four minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, the way they tell when to stop is by the opacity mm -hmm. of the paper that's mm -hmm. building up. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. I wouldn't know how to use that information myself. Well, yeah, of I mean, course. It's experience, a lot more of practice. course, experience, of course. Yeah. Yes. Also, her tub has much more fiber in it. The tub you were using, the, the density of the fiber in the water, there was much less. Uh-huh. I didn't show it in my video, but I also got to try doing the... Okay. the chip, chip, za, za, za. <laughs> And mostly I just like, the first time, the first stroke I made, I think I, I doused the <laughs> rock. For yeah, thick I got paper to do that and then use. also use the, the beaters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we, here we go. Let's chip it off. And that's where this ends. Is and she going to lift it up? You can see. Two oh, no. very thick. Two yeah. sheets of paper. On one screen, two sheets. That's where this is going to end. Now she's draining it. Yep. And stacked behind her to the right, you can see. One, two, one, two, left and right. So at the end of the day, they've got 
400 sheets of paper instead of 200 sheets of paper. Looks so yeah, even. Yeah, yeah, it looks so even. Yeah, professional She's a pro. Yeah, She's yeah, a pro. Absolutely. So, so. I could watch that all day long. I could sit and watch her make paper. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> We've talked to her about the possibility of doing stuff together and people are thinking about things at the moment. There's mm -hmm. nothing more I can say at the moment about this. So, so. Partly in the back of your video, there was a gentleman with a suit there back near the window chatting with people. That's the I owner. Had, that, that's Shimizu-san. It's her boss. So, so. Katsu? Shimizu-san. The guy in the suit at the back near the window. Oh no, that was Katsu-san. City council member. There's one we talked about. There's two guys in suits that came into your video. Oh, maybe oh, maybe the, oh, maybe the, the, uh, the other guy in suit. Oh, okay. Suits. We'll have to look at the video again. Yeah. No, I had a really lovely. Um... Oh, how was I, Mas? Oh, hi, Mas. Hello, hello. Hi, hi, soka, hi, soka, soka. We got triple threat here today. Yeah, go I, mean, I think I'm going to go upstairs soon. Mm -hmm. The dog's mm -hmm. sweating so bad. So. It's going to be a warm day today. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I chose yeah, warm yeah. clothes, I guess. Oh, you walked from Wino again, so yeah, it's yeah, so the hot. Yeah, train, the train was delayed again, so <laughs> I needed to walk fast, sort of. So I'm you sweet, needed so. to walk fast. Oh, because we're so strict here, you must be here no, by no, 9 o'clock. No, 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 I don't want to She's like, she was 30 seconds late. Oh, yeah, I know, just whatever. <laughs> I don't want to be late, so. She'd rather get sweaty and hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, son. I, I actually don't mind getting sweaty and hot. I, I, well, like there is a shower sound, upstairs, so. you know, there's a shower. Yeah. 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 Everyone's saying hello. Oh, hello so John is saying hello. Can't see you there. Yeah. Where, oh, we, no, this camera's gone. Uh, it's, it's okay, I'm not uh, yeah, the main one no. today, so, I mean, okay. never been the main one, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah. The only place visible today would be if you came and stood yeah. behind Karen. You'd have to, like, stand uh, on so Dave's so coat. That's your face. Okay, let's catch my breath. Karen just showed her the paper. Before Karen rolls up her paper, you're going to see this. Karen made paper over there. Up ah, at the workshop, and yeah, it's really cool, awesome. really beautiful. Take, take a picture, I'll show you now. Take a picture. Big, 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 really nice sheets of paper. Wow, here's one of them. It's got, you know, you can see it's got some wrinkles in it. It's right. thicker because I didn't get enough pulp, but close to my body. Yeah, but it's, it's like acceptable. Yeah, 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 totally. Compared to the paper that I made, like. Uh, oh, that's right. I understand that. We did that. that. Was much yeah, smaller, yeah, yeah. and it was more like uh, one side, and then the other side was kind of thinner. Yeah, so it was, I have this thing going on here too. I mean, yeah. you can tell the yeah. answer, but but this size and yeah, yeah looks nice. Is this your first attempt, or did you try some? Two Excuse sheets? us two today for the you know the two sheets only and scrap this and is stream here. You know. I wow. can't see the chat. I know, I don't want to talk about it. I don't <laughs> want to talk about it. <laughs> okay, see you if you're in sunshine. Thanks for dropping in. Okay, yeah, bye bye. Bye bye. We've ignored the chat today. I'm so sorry. They must be so angry at us, you know. I don't know. Are you on it? Are there? There's, okay. I don't okay. know. They're right. still talking about paper sizes. Okay. Like the, the A, f two, three, four, five, mm -hmm. six mm -hmm. versus the U.S. standard size. Mm -hmm. Here in Japan, it's a mix now. The older traditional sizes plus the, the European-inspired AB series, of course. You know, so. And then with a bit of a, an old-fashioned mix. Oh, um, another fun part of the uh, conference was the tour of papermaking. 
workshops. Where did you get to that? What, I don't know. Uh, we didn't go to any workshops that actually made printmaking paper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it was still really interesting. <laughs> we well, maybe because there aren't any. That's <laughs> it. So, yeah. I mean, that's that, a sad There's thing. just Iwana-san, and he probably said, sorry, we're busy. Like, he doesn't want 300 people. Literally, he didn't mm -hmm. want 300 people trooping through yeah. there. He doesn't speak English. There's nothing to show him. And the problem now is with a place like that is that they're only doing one thing at a time. So any given day, if you had gone to Iwano-san's place on any given day and time, you would have seen him picking chili. You're not going to see then the rocking and the cooking and the other other parts of the mm -hmm. job. Or he's boiling kozo yeah, and sitting around so drinking tea. You can't see all that in one place. <laughs> yes, exactly. So that's why when mm -hmm. they were planning this, they would think they would like to have done that. Yeah. In the old days, if they'd visited Iwano on any day of the week, somebody would have been cooking, somebody else would have been picking chili, somebody else would have been rocking because it was a multitasking labor force. But these days, they just do one lot at a time. Take a break, do the cooking, mm -hmm. do the chili, do the beating, do this, do that. So that, that's really why mm -hmm. there wouldn't have been a chance to see that. You know? So we went to a big operation, um, and then we split into two groups and went to some smaller operations. You say big operation, uh, as a, a factory, you mean machines making the paper? No, or, or no, no it was rocking. just a large workshop with a lot of people working. Okay. It was the Iwano Heizaburo. 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 Okay, okay. Heizaburo. Right. And they make, oh my God. They're, they're, they're doing they large sheets, right? Yep, yep. Gigantic yeah, sheets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, where they, were, they weren't making the most gigantic sheets the time we visited, but they were making some extremely large sheets. So these were two people rocking, right? Yeah, two people, one, yeah, 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 one on yeah, yeah, yeah. each end uh, rocking the paper. And then to lift the sheet off, they actually have a... A hoist. A hoist. <laughs> Thanks for that word. Um, they have a hoist to lift the sheet mm. and move but it this over. But is, this is mulberry paper? What's the use case? It's shoji paper or what, what are they doing? It's What's for the... like paintings in temples. So it's for Nihonga mm -hmm. painting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the size is like tatami sized pieces of paper? Or? Uh, that long and wider. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then they had, I saw some screens hanging on the wall for like that would have taken like four people to rock the paper, or six, just huge. There are some pictures in the place you maybe visited, Udatsu, some pictures on the wall. They had an event years ago, it's 20, 30, 40 years ago, I don't even know, where there was a special order or some special plan, let's make the biggest sheet of paper that's ever been made in the world or something. And the village all combined, I don't even know how, what kind of facility, but. They made, and there's, there's this picture with like 15 people on the back and 15 people on the front, <laughs> and they're all rocking this thing. What do they do with it? I, I, I know Cut no more about it. I don't know <laughs> any more about it. They must have been a Guinness attempt back in 1962 or something like uh -huh. this. And there's pictures yeah. of this event here and there around the town. So. Chat is still talking about paper sizes. <laughs> Corn, Corn says, imagine sizing it, talking about that giant sheet. Mm, mm. And then we went to another place that um, was, they make paper f for confectioner's shops, so packaging paper. And they make it as fast and as cheaply and as beautifully as they can. But it's, it's disposable, <coughs> you know, it's meant for packing up sweets. So they had this machine, uh, it's a giant conveyor belt, and you, you walk in the back of the machine and it's being, the, the belt is being washed. So there's like water spraying on it and these beaters that are washing all the excess off. Mm -hmm. And it goes around to the front and then there are people, um, they, they're making two layer paper. The first layer is using pigmented pulp. So they have this vat of pink pulp and they're making that a little thicker and it, it's divided into little squares. So like when they lay it down, um, there are little squares that are about, I don't know, like 12, 13 centimeters in size. Mm -hmm. And then there's a, and it takes longer to rock that paper because it's thicker. So they have so two. Human beings are rocking this. It's human beings are rocking it. Uh, they have two people making the little pink squares. And then they have one person making the overlay. So um, they're making, uh, they're using white pulp with, and a screen that has a design in it. So um, one of the pink square people lays down their sheet on the conveyor belt. Um, then the decorative white pulp person lays theirs down. And uh, in the time that 
the decorative white layer can and the right. time that the pink pulp can be made two sheets of the <laughs> the white decorative layer can be made so they, they have this all orchestrated so these things get laid down on the conveyor belt mm -hmm. and then they go through and they go around this drying drum and mm -hmm. it gets dried Boom. So and it then drains and dries. Drains and paper. dries, and then it's peeled off and stacked okay. up by somebody. So it's finished, bang, it's done. Five minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Five yeah. minute paper. But this is not Kozo mulberry or stuff. Oh, it couldn't possibly no, afford it. This is you know, no. wood pulp or cellular pulp or something. Probably. Yeah, like yeah. Um, I don't know exactly what fiber they were using, but it was. Uh, well, I wonder why they would have any hand labor involved in that at all then. Why wouldn't there be a machine dispensing this white pulp for the pink parts there or whatever? What are you describing sure. there that would need hand labor to do? Or I'm not sure. Or they want handmade paper? I, I don't know. Maybe. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And they do all sorts of other decorative things. He, um, the guy demonstrated uh, various ways that the paper can be treated on the screen to produce different designs. Kind of a wavy design if you spray it with water. Um, and we went to another place, Igarashi, I think was the name of the, the woman that was talking to us. Um, by the way, all of the people that are dipping paper, they're all women, all of them. Um, but she showed us out in front of their little shop. Uh, they've got a little garden bed out there, and they've got kozo, mitsumata, uh, to show the and plants, gampi, yeah. gampi yeah. growing yeah. there in the little garden bed. The gampi growing there, that's a new thing. We were talking about this the other day on the stream. That, uh, this gampi traditionally has never been able to be cultivated, and it's always been just picked from the mountains wild. But in the last few years, some researchers there, some university up there, have kind of figured out a way to get it going. So, mm -hmm. so this is, they're, they're quite proud of this too. We're growing gumpy. One of the pres the, so there were some presentations uh, at the conference, and one of the presentations was by Nick Claudis in Iowa City, I believe, and they're growing kaza in Iowa, mm. and they're making paper. Mm. This is. What is it called? The, the, there's a name for the place, the Iowa something University Center for Japanese Traditional Paper Making. And this, Timothy Barrett would have set that up back okay. in the 1970s or 80s. Oh, okay. He's retired okay. now, and I guess this gentleman yeah. will be one of the, mm -hmm. his successors. Taking over so. director. <clears throat> that was one of Timothy's you know, big deals. Can we take this plant, if we transplant it into a different climate and a different soil, what will the result be? Can we make sensible paper with it? And he spent decades. Yeah, and I guess stuff. they're making sensible paper. Um, the there was a slide that popped up that said that listed the uses and its various, con, uh, you know, uh, conservancy type work mm. like preservation, text mm. preservation, stuff like that. And then um, also independent artists was listed as well, one. See, of this the, is the thing. Though. Why hasn't that come together? Because. Years ago when Timothy set that up, there weren't so many people in the West doing mokohanga, trying to mm -hmm. make prints with Japanese, you know, paper and stuff. But in recent years, it's been there's a staggering demand for this. People like you, whatever, all over the world, desperately need this paper. Why haven't those guys stepped up to the plate? They've got the technology now. They've been doing this for 20, 30, nearly 40 years there. It seems like a, they've got the material, they've got the product, and you've got the use case. Yeah, you know but it's, it's kind of an, I think, I get the feeling it's kind of an academic... This is it. Timothy uh, did it as an academic yeah. thing. They planted their six sample plants, it works, and then went on No, they have a bigger else. field now. Yeah, whatever, they have, whatever, a, they have a bigger field. I'm, I'm being semi-sarcastic. <laughs> they planted their sample plants, and they did their academic studies. Yep, it works. And then the, <clears throat> they left it on the table. And, you know, <clears throat> these days the university will do something, research on LEDs, whatever, and yep, we can make a thing called an LED. They'd start this in a university, and then two years later, that's it. Industry jumps in, and now LEDs are all over the world. You know, so they need somebody down there. And this young man who must have been there, is he not the person to put this together? There's huge demand for this. So I, nothing to do with me. It's out of my world completely. But my God, 
It's, it's, you know, Timothy was working on that for decades, waiting for you guys to come along. Uh-huh. And now you're here. Yep. Put it together somehow. So, I don't know. I may contact them and see if mm. they'll sell me a few sheets of paper well, just to need, see what it's like. They need a way to jump out of the academic thing. They've, they've, done, yeah. they've produced the product now. Now it needs industry to, you know, to step in and uh, commercialize it. And there's a huge use case. Scaling up can be very tricky. Yes, indeed. It's S and T time. Do we have an S and T today? Is it? What I have is I have the match label book that I started the other day. Is it that time already? Okay. Yeah, it is. Okay. It's nine fifteen. It's a bit difficult if I can't see the screen here because I want to. Well, here, can let's. Can we uh, turn it a little bit? Yeah. Okay. And I, okay. we can just leave it that way. Okay. I, I have not really been operating. Uh, I feel so, uh, you know, so strange on the days we do this kind of thing because I can't see the chat. I feel may nature left out. Adrift. I'm totally adrift, you know, <laughs> totally adrift. I don't watch all of the chat every time on all of these streams, but I obviously see enough of it to keep me in touch with what's going on. And I feel totally strange on a day like this where I can't see it. I'm lost. Like we're not doing anything sensible. Okay, how can we get this book? Let me zoom out a little bit first. Snide remark from Corn Gummy. <laughs> if you had a mobile phone, you could be following the chat. <laughs> well, yes or no, I don't know. <laughs> so, okay, a couple of things about this. We've learned more about this book. You know, I opened it on stream the other day and got a quick view of what it was, and I have learned a bit more about this. And this book is going to be one of the most valuable things that we've ever received in this field, match labels, for some basic research. Up to now, David, well, people know what's happening here. Dave's an accumulator. You know, there, there's collectors and there's accumulators, and they're different things. Collector will get something, understand what it is, curate it properly. There's an accumulator, like when I was accumulating stamps, and I was going to get them, and you put them in a box, put them in a mouth, and wow, I got all this neat stuff. And you don't know what it is, you don't know much about it, you're not bringing anything to the table except that you get a bunch of stuff. And it's frustrating for me at the moment because over these current few years, Moko Hong Kong is very much an accumulator, but we haven't really brought much new knowledge to the table. What we are desperately trying to do is just get the stuff now while there's a chance to accumulate it together. And then over the coming years, our staff here and people who follow us will learn more about this and research more. But today, one thing. This album turned out to have two kinds of prints in it. The first half, or one half of the album, was all prints that were related to the new year. They all have pretty much exactly the same thing. It says Gasho, which is the you know greetings for the new year on the top of it. And we started with, what was it, back in 1927 with a rabbit year. There were only very few here, and it goes through year by year for about 10 years. We don't have a full year cycle. But this is, turns out that this is the first 10 years or so that the match labels were, were taking hold as a hobby here. So the earliest ones we see look like the old match labels as in strike a match match labels. They were very graphic oriented like this, no detailed carving. And they would have come sometimes in larger format to be wrapped around an actual mm -hmm. matchbox. And there are very few of them in the first few years. And then the next couple of years later, we see the development now of this style. The style of hobby collectors getting together to make these things in groups. And year by year, the number of prints in each group grows and the refinement grows. And by the end of the first group here, it's, what's the year, Showa, let me find something. It's Showa 12. So we went from 1927, I'm mixing my formats here, 1927 was Showa... Somebody's room. I'm waiting for someone to remind me. I can't remember. John? <laughs> I'm mixing my, my metaphors. So it's show, a, show, show a, a two, one or two. Show, so, show so we two. go 10 years. We've got show a two time. to show a 12. The mm -hmm. outside mic. I don't know the guy with a basket out there. It, it's not That's, speaking okay. very loud. Yeah, okay. Let us know if the audio is too loud for now. So the point being, we have a wonderful overview of the first decade of work of these new match label prints. That's the New Year's side. It then turns out the rest of the book 
is dedicated all to the same topic in the summertime. It was a habit in the Japan in the summer to send people a, a postcard or a greeting of some kind that would say either shochu omimai or shochu ukagai, and it's summer greetings. And if traditional, you would have got a postcard, you would do a little drawing or something showing something cool to bring people a bit of a cool feeling. We can't really do anything about the audio because the, the outside audio is off, essentially. And that guy's making noise. He'll be out of the way, hopefully, yeah. in a few minutes. Uh, I'm sorry. The, the, is it, the, it's the, the mic that we're talking on is picking up. Yeah, so I've turned off the outside mic now. So, so we see here, these are shochu omimai type of prints. And they're all in sets again, and they're all to show the same kind of feeling, bring a cool feeling to someone during the summer. They're all exactly the same type of thing. And we've got the same group here, starting in Showa. Find a date on one of these. Showa 2 is the first one I can see a date on here. Showa 2, and it goes through to Showa 12. So this is a wonderful, wonderful collection of the first decade of how match label prints started, mostly started with the New Year first, then switching to Summer Gift, and then going into wider, wider, wider themes. This other stuff we've mm -hmm. got in our collection. Those are really pretty, those and landscape they're, ones. They're all just delicate touch, beautiful scents, simple and clean. They're so classically Japanese. I'm a bit sad this guy glued them all down so heavily in this album, but if that's what it took to keep them all combined as a set, then so be it. He left spaces for the year he's missing. There's also some other interesting things. I've never seen this before. We have the same print here six times in different color options, like what? They made 200 of the set, then 200 more, and then 200 more? We don't know. And we get the yeah, same they're lady. all exactly the same, all the text It's the same, the same. Yeah, it's the same blocks, absolutely the same blocks. And they've had a go at doing different colors. With the same pieces of wood. This is really, really cool. Same thing on the other side here, it's a different one. And the, the swimsuits and stuff, this is Taishu era. This is, uh, what is it, 1920s. This is the Roaring Twenties, I guess, mm -hmm. over in the West. John asked if there's a little bit of mica in the prints. Is there any shiny? There's, this one on the left has aluminum powder, I think. I don't see mica here. I see some aluminum powder. I can't find the right... Um, we must have got it there. So there's aluminum in one of the blocks here, not <coughs> mica. <coughs> well, there, that lady was six. We did get six of them, so... Let's see. So we have a ton of wonderful, beautiful little prints here. Just these page after page after page. The carving that must have gone into this. They'd carve these things and then print however many copies the group had asked for. I said 200, but that was a random number picked out of my bum. We don't know, we don't have documentation on how many they did make of each one. And then the blocks tossed in the stove next winter because you wouldn't need them anymore. We, this is one, we've reproduced some of these. In last, uh, two years ago, the ED series, Embrace the Delight, I chose some from this design, from this set. Oh. Oh. We simplified them. We left off the calligraphy. <laughs> now the truth comes out. <laughs> now the truth is found. David simplified those, leaving off the calligraphy. This is an interesting group. Look at this. These are, it's pseudo black and white, they're in gray. There's still the same number of blocks. There's a whole bunch of blocks here, four or five or six blocks. And they have, on top of it, they have printed a mesh, a net in Karazin. Is it gonna show, Karen, and get the light? I saw a hint of it. Can you, can you see it in real life here? You can see it, so. Oh, yeah. 
So if Sorry, I, I probably if I get, popped the mic. It's too close to it. If I get closer, is it going to show here? I don't know. There's a cutter zitty, a mesh, yeah, to make could, it look yeah, like it's printed on it. silk. Yeah, you, you can see it there. Yeah. They're trying to show it's printed. They're trying to pretend that it's printed on fabric, silk, whatever. And this to me too, these are very attractive without the colors. Very, very attractive. They've done, they've done lots of uh, kasure bori to do the carving to make it look like scratch brushing to give a natural effect of landscape here, you know, rocks and stuff. Very, very tasteful. So no, these aren't on silk, they're on paper, but they've, made, they've imitated the style of an, like an old Chinese silk painting. And they've put that kudazuri texture on to make it look like it's a piece of fabric. It's just a normal woodblock print. No silk was harmed in the production of these objects. And what's next? Just page after page after page. The delicacy, my God, the delicacy. Some fireworks. Yeah, and it, the themes are all the same. Something that would keep you cool in the summertime. Is that watermelon? I believe it's an attempt to make a watermelon. I don't know. Is there something, well, is there a there's like a, a transparent sheet in front of it or something. Over I don't know. It. I'm sorry. I don't know what they're cloth, trying to do. Cloth draped over watermelon. And the other thing about these is the calligraphy is just to die for. The taste and beauty and sensibility of the calligraphy. It's so small. They could have just hacked it up, but they haven't. Look at my thumb there. And the, the, each line starts thick, gets thinner, starts thick, gets thinner. The complete taste in the calligraphy is just as though it was wall size. Oh, good morning, Gurugao Sam. Hello. Good morning. Now, you know, I had these in my, a bunch of these in my collection for years, and then two years ago, when we were trying to think about what to do for a subscription series, I thought, can we actually do this? Can we make a set of prints that will bring people the delight that they feel when they hold and see these? So we did it in 2022, and we're going to do it again. And I'm scheduled in 2027. It's mm -hmm. another Embrace the Delight book two is scheduled for 2027. Oh, fine, fine. Well, is that well, a top Kat, secret I wasn't supposed well, to tell? I don't Kat know. Cat and Fox be back. Can't talk you can't about talk that. about that. <laughs> can't oh, talk about I love that. Cat and Fox. <laughs> There's another project cooking this Cat and Fox that is trying to get airborne. But, uh, Shh. <laughs> so many projects, so little time. It's only 24 hours in a day. Do you think that the person who assembled the book, uh, like the section that starts with the keeping cool in summertime prints, is, is that, exactly, is that, are those, yes, it starts yes, at the same time as it the... It does, and it finishes so, at the same time. So, this so he or she, like... A, the book was assembled later. Absolutely. Assembled later. It must have been, because okay. it just okay. is too much of a coincidence. The first half starts at Showa 2, ends at Showa 12. The second half starts at Showa 2, ends at Showa 12, just when the book finishes. Or they, they could have... Um, or they could have assembled. They could have assembled the book screwed, and then just started halfway later through. On. Yes, so, so, so. so yeah. I don't know. All I could, I assume, is that the person who did this was one of these members. We have names here. You know, this is Kuroda-san. This is uh, Nakama, uh, Nakayama-san. These are the people who put the money in every time to get the prints made. And what I would love to see is a, a list of names of some of these groups, you know, if they yeah. had a membership list and stuff like this. Because we see names, you could make a chart of all the names that come in and then leave, you know. And people join the groups and they left the groups because mm -hmm. the, there will be many names that you'll see them next year and next year and next year and then no longer. And he's either died or got bored with this or left the group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So who assembled this? Was this Kuroda-san? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Just delightful, just endlessly delightful.
And for me, it's just pleasure of holding these things, owning them, enjoying them, and just reveling in this stunningly high level of craftsmanship that was used to make these things. It's not all great art, you know. This is there's no Picasso here. It's not it's not art in that sense. But none of this was intended to be art. They're enjoyable, decorative, printed objects. The guys who made these would never have thought, "Hey, let's have an exhibition in an art gallery and show our stuff." It was never, ever, ever a consideration. Fly is asking if the book will get scanned for the collection. Well, it's on our list, but I have literally now many, many thousands of these prints. There's mm -hmm. no way I can promise that this is going to happen right now. We have a really good selection of these online, enough to really whet somebody's appetite. Something else here, this is interesting. We've got this set of prints now made in Showa 8. And we've seen this before because I used six of these in my own Embrace the Delight series. And at the time, I copied the six prints that I had. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It turns out that there isn't six in the set, there's twelve in the set. And we have them here printed with aluminum powder on the outside. We also have the same set, same blocks, printed with brown pigment on the outside. Same cover sheet, show eight, same blocks. Mm -hmm. Nothing's changed. We also have it with them printed with a different, with a gradation mm -hmm. on cool. the back side. The same blocks. And we have, again, show eight, the same set, printed with purple background. Like, what's going on here? It makes me think that this set of prints that we've got is maybe from, not from one of the collectors, but from maybe a printmaker's workshop. And these, these could be prints left behind at the printer's place. I don't know. Mm. I really don't know. It just goes on and on. We have an interesting one here in that we have the same set again twice in normal full color and we have it in black and white. The same set is in here. Did they just leave the color blocks off? It's just the color block. It's just the key block all by itself. Yeah, okay. So there's the key block. And there's the color green. Nice. Mm, very cool. <laughs> so the research value of this book is really, really, really excellent. Fly, I'm heading home to Tomorrow. You're done, are you? I yep. am. Yep. Yep. I leave at like 5 p.m. Japan time on Tuesday and I get home at 6 30 p.m. The same day? Central, same day. The same day. Yeah. Fast flight. Fast <laughs> so, flight. A one hour flight. I wish. <laughs> mm. One day we'll get there. One day, maybe. I'm waiting for the Star Trek transporter system. So, these ones are very much an imitation of a Chinese style of painting. I, I couldn't recognize the, the, the style, the name. But, uh. So are you flying from Haneda or Narita? Narita. Narita, too bad. Yeah. Oh, here, same thing. We have key blocks. It's the same thing. Can I find the same one? Yeah, here we are. Here's the key block. I'm going to have to move the book across. And there's the color version. So this was a little bit of a more serious collector, you know, than, than your average guy, just getting one of each and sticking them in the book. This guy was careful about it. They're in order. They're in order by year. He's got variants. Look at this, another variant group. It's the Thunder God with pink drums, yellow drums, and blue drums. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe these were test prints and they were trying to decide what to do. It's quite mm -hmm. possible. I really don't know. Okay, the page goes on and on and on and on and on. Let's save some for next time, whatever. I think that's enough for now. We've got lots of work to do. Karen Sant, thanks very much for being part of this today. Bye, and guys. Thanks, really cool, for showing us the, the video, you know? Oh, yeah, you know, Not everybody Definitely. would like to, you know, exposed to the world when they're first trying something and there's wrinkles <laughs> in it or whatever. So it's thanks okay. for being a good sport there, for doing this. All right. We're going to head out. Today is Monday. Monday. So I've got three days more. I'll be back here Thursday, almost certainly doing exactly the same thing. Uh, 
a carving that block. And by then, Jason will be up and running on his grand trek mm -hmm. across the length of Japan. So we will have some opportunities maybe to raid him at the end of our streams coming up over the next couple of weeks and months. I'll follow his instructions on that. Bye all. Yep. That's the last chance they have to see us. Me and Karen are going to wave goodbye and we're going to put the outside camera up. How does it look? Another sunny day. It looks gorgeous. Kegger. Yep. It's going to be um, almost 80 degrees for you using the uh, Fahrenheit What's that, 20, system. What's that, 24, 25 for us or something? 20, 26. 26. Wow, mm -hmm. a new world record. Okay, <laughs> thanks guys. Let's go. Three, two, one. Bye for now.